to Dream Duo Travels. I'm Ryan. I'm Erin. And tonight we are at Disney's Yacht Club. We are going to have dinner at the Yachtsman. This is a steak restaurant. Um, we have not been here. Always wanted to do this one. Uh, we've ate at like Ale and Compass and uh, Beaches and Beaches Cream, and cream. Like, Cape May, it, all the other restaurants. We've ate at everyone but this one. And this is our first time trying this one. So uh, if you're interested in those videos, go check those out. But this should be a good meal. Uh, it's kind of like an elegant, uh, upscale dining. Yeah, it's like a fine dining, signature dining. Um, but it should be good. All right. Well, let's go do this. Let's eat some steak. First impressions of this place is it's very elegant, uh, candlelit dinner uh, right next to the sidewalk that leads out to the beach and yacht club pool. Um, so you're kind of looking out over the pool. Um, I'm very impressed with the wait staff. They're very knowledgeable. Uh, long, extensive list of wines and cocktails and things like that. They have a full bar here. So anything you want to order, um, you can. I'm getting a old fashioned, and it's going to be made with Woodford. So when that comes out, I'll uh, give that a try. I've had one before, so I sh it should be pretty good. All right, so here's a look at this old fashioned. You can see the presentation is really nice with the orange uh, zest there on top. There's an ice ball in there. Um, pretty decent sized pour. Should be pretty good. So it smells real good. I can smell the orange zest. It's uh, yeah, that's very good. Yeah, might need a couple of these. <laughs> there is a complimentary bread service, and it comes with a roasted like half head of garlic and fresh butter with Himalayan sea salt, and there is sourdough and a pull-apart onion bread. So I'm trying the onion pull-apart bread, and I was wrong, I don't think this is what they have at Ale and Compass, I think this is what they have at Cruise Cup. The garlic is good, but it needs a little um, seasoning to it. it. Needs some salt or something, but the bread is warm. It's got like the little onion chopping on it. It's good. So I opted for the sourdough, and I put some of that roasted garlic in there as well. Um, I mean, it's real soft and... It's got a nice crust to it. Tears pretty decent, too. So, it's nice quality bread. Oh, yeah. Mm. I do like that garlic. That's real good. And this bread... I'll have to That's try good. that. So I added a little bit of the sea salt butter with the garlic. Um, doesn't change the flavor a whole lot, but you can tell that the butter makes it a little more creamy. It's a good combo. I've tried both now. I think I like the pull apart bread better. And I haven't I'll, tried that one yet. It's a lot softer. This is the French onion soup appetizer that um, one of our friends ordered. I am going to give this a try just so I can kind of rate it. Oh. Alright, there's a delicate way to do this. cheesy. It's got like a thick piece of bread in there. I don't know. French onion soup isn't something I regularly get. It's kind of 
It's not as salty as you would expect. It's kind of sweet. I don't know. It's kind of a chilly day. It's kind of nice. Um, it's not bad. And just to show you something else, our friend ordered the 14 ounce roasted prime rib and that comes with Yorkshire pudding and au jus and a horseradish cream. One of our other friends got the 12 ounce New York strip steak. It has a peppercorn sauce and a loaded baked potato. Um, they were not shy with the peppercorn sauce. It looks like a, a very delicious steak as well. And I do like the loaded baked potato. This is the ribeye, it has the bone in and the potatoes and a couple little cherry tomatoes there on the side. Um, this looks really good as well. Uh, the butter sauce on top should be pretty good. I can't wait to cut into this and try it. Okay, I ordered the Coco Bin braised chicken. It comes with house-made fettuccine, and then there's mushrooms and onions and um, like lardums of pancetta. And then we also ordered for the table, the truffle mac and cheese. So I've got a bite here with some of the fettuccine, some of the chicken, a mushroom. The chicken is very good. He said they like sous vide it for like 24 hours overnight and then they sear it and braise it. Um, the chicken is really good. The mushrooms and the pancetta are really good. The pancetta is rendered all the way down. It's nice and salty and chewy. Um, the fettuccine is, um, I don't know if it's overcooked or what's going on with the fettuccine. It's a very small little portion of fettuccine, but it's very kind of gloopy and kind of clumped together. So I'm not really loving that part, but the chicken, the mushrooms, the pancetta, that part is excellent. All right, so I don't know if you can see it. It's really dark in here, but it is medium well, just how I ordered it. Um, I've already taken a few bites. This is a fantastic steak. Um, the sauce on there, that is awesome. Um, just the juices, the flavor, the char that they put on this. This is a really good steak, well worth it. Uh, if you're a steak lover, this is a place you want to try. All right, so I'm going to try the truffle mac and cheese. Mm. I can't really say that I taste truffle, but I'm thinking this on top must be like a citrus, like gremolata or something. It's like breadcrumbs and herbs. It's very lemony. They're like tiny little spirals of mac and cheese. Like I said, I don't, I don't taste truffle um, necessarily, but... It's got a really good flavor. I love that topping on there. And there are mushrooms in there. It's good. Okay, so I'm going to try these potatoes. The potatoes are like real flaky, real soft. They're uh, an Al Gratin potato, but like. You can see there's real thin layers, um, and they're just, I mean, you can see it's like falling apart. Like, it's really good. He did bring out a dessert menu that looks like they have a chocolate cake, a carrot cake, a cranberry vanilla cheesecake, and a creme brulee, but I think we are going to pass because we are quite full. finished up with our dinner everything was really good I mean I'm a steak eater and this was one of the top places I would say in Disney World to get a steak um, there's other places but this is pretty up there this is a good one Erin um, on the other hand is not much of a steak eater she did not get steak and she did not feel the same way about steak that I do so, no, I, I did. I liked my dinner. I really liked the chicken. Um, I just didn't think the fettuccine part of it was uh, very well done. I thought the truffle mac and cheese was really good. It was a high quality bread service. 
Um, I don't know. I'm not saying I wouldn't come back. Just oh yeah, I'd definitely come back. This place was really good. The atmosphere is nice. Um, I I love the whole nautical theme. Uh, yeah, the dim lighting. It was just an elegant meal. Very. Um, I don't know, kind of different, you know. The, nice, like uh, date night setting or you know, celebratory meal, yeah, something like that. Place to slow down. I mean, Disney World was such go go go. This was a nice place to just kind of chill and. Just it was. Relax. It was calm and quiet, sort of dim and candlelight, and um, it was it was a nice ambiance in there. Yeah, I uh, I thought the wait staff there were very knowledgeable. Um, you know, they, they explain everything on the menu really well. There's an extensive wine list. Uh, there was dessert. Uh, we opted not to. We were full. Yeah, it probably was really good. It was probably high quality, but it just, yeah. we're stuffed. I mean, I had that steak, and then I sipped my old-fashioned. I was good. I didn't need no dessert. Um, but, yeah, if you're out here, try Yachtsman. Great place to grab a bite to eat. Uh, I think with that said, we're going to wrap this up. Just remember to please like, comment, subscribe, and ring that notification bell. And just remember, if you can dream it, you can do it. Good night. Yeah.